actually funny enough the main thing I remember is one of our neighbours Gary she left his door open you know one of these sort of up and over ones and I remember the next morning that was literally all over like that you know sort of in a C shape you know all broken up and I also remember a lot of trees down because we lived sort of near Woodland at the time you know and I just remember sort of the clear up and everything my father ran a fish and chip shop at the time and obviously all the electrics was out and everything I remember the next day sort of we were sort of thinking you know customer wise what we're going to do and sort of things like that really just sort of a sort of strange short film because that sort of thing had never happened before you know so cemetery road um there's a chubby bawling his eyes out and see a man crying it, for another man is a little bit sort of distressing so you approach and say sorry old boy but what's the, the problem and he'd just been out to the country uh, i just met us somewhere uh, where he's refurbishing a period property and he'd just been out there expecting to find a pile of matchwood because he'd gutted the place and it was still standing because the wind had gone through it rather than had anything to blow down and he was crying for relief. I was taking a class on a school trip to London and we were caught up in the storm and I can remember um, not being able to sleep that night, um, the children were quite worried about it and um, then coming back the next day we saw all the overturned lorries and then got back to Ipswich and saw all the trees down so it was quite an experience for them. They were um, nine-year-olds at the time. <laughs>